Good morning and welcome back to Subsistence. Right, still nice and early. Let's have a look. Yep, sun is just just rising. So we've got a full day ahead of us. Uh, just to recap what I did between episodes. Um, I've got some iron and copper refining. Just bumping these numbers up a little bit so that we can start crafting some more alloy sheets. Uh, I made another lockpick, so we've got two lockpicks. Um, I need to get my water and some food. Obviously, we're a bit hungry here. Um, I think last episode I was working towards crafting circuit boards in order to make a, a new solar panel. Now, I've gone ahead and done that because I've made plenty of solar panels before. Um, yeah, I've just grabbed the other ingredients, topped up the mass, and I've put it up here. Ooh. We have a rogue camp down there. Interesting. Um, I've put it up here on the roof. Along with the other solar panels. So how many have we got now? There's two there. Whoops. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got nine solar panels. Um, oh, the cougar's over there. I don't know if you can see that clearly. Looks lovely in this sunlight. And there's the rogue camp. They're pretty close, but I don't think it's going to cause us any problems. Uh, we've got three uh, wind turbines. That's quite a nice view, actually. Yep, sun's coming up. I should really get out there and go and gather some materials. Um, but I would like to make at least one more solar panel. That, that will fit nicely here without me having to make any changes. Um, we've still got room on here for maybe another turbine or two. And then maybe our power situation won't be quite so dire as it usually is. Um, I've gone ahead as well and sorted out the garden so we don't need to worry about that today. And hopefully... Yeah, hopefully the fires will be good enough for the rest of the day. Right, let's go and sort our food out. And we'll grab our water. I'll leave that one in there. That needs to go back upstairs. Right, now we might be able to get away with eating something nice, like a rib, rib roast or something. So, yeah, let's have that. That was way more than we needed, but it's a treat. So that's good. Okay. Right, we're set for the day. Um, I've got enough ammo. Yeah, I've got arrows. Um, don't need those fuel bricks necessarily on me, but I like to carry them so I can just run straight in and top things up. Um, how's the fuel? I think we'll top that up. Just to make sure that we're all set. How's power? We've got 32 in and 87 out. I think I have the mining drills on, do I? Not sure. I've only got two of those running and the fridge, as far as I know. Let's quickly check. Oh, our chickens are level seven and six. No, they're not running. Hmm. So this is just solar panel power then and it's not enough let me just see if that ticks down yeah oh no okay right we've got enough to not need to run this but i think i'm gonna run it anyway that's fine right okay right we're all sorted let's head out so i didn't see any sign of any lock crates over in that direction i've got the cougar here so i think i'm gonna head out the base over this way. Oh, something I forgot to show you. Uh, quite a few of you suggested this and it was a great idea about moving the door, um, the doorway so that I wouldn't get trapped on this little bit of rock all the time. I went ahead and did that because, you know, it's just moving a couple of base pieces. It's not difficult to do. And this is much easier now. You can still run out and get onto that platform. So, uh, yeah, great idea. Okay, let's head out and go and do some nice looting. I think I'm going to go this way into the valley today. And 
we'll see uh, we'll see what happens i don't know where any of the rogues are haven't looked at the map i just think it's a little bit more exciting if you don't know where they are so uh, we'll see what we run into we've got a wolf here i do want to get some meat i think i'm going to start burning um protein for power uh, for mass in the recycler but i don't want to sort of do that now and uh, need to wash my hands already so well there's crate first crate of the morning and it's not bad a few nails always can be recycled I don't know whether I should nip down to the uh, lake and go and get some pearls. Let's have a look on here anyway for some ore. I see something over here. Oh nice, we've got some zinc, an animal and iron I think. Let's uh, try not to disturb whatever that is. I think it's a wolf. Yeah, there's two wolves actually. There's one right there. And yeah, another wolf there. Right, I'm going to just run through. We shouldn't have any trouble. Didn't really want to bother them, but really wanted to come out in this direction so right let's have a look what we've got going on here and uh, we'll see if we can find uh, maybe a lock crate or two I'm really looking for some with some nice aloe sheets in there to save me the materials to have to create and craft them So only fibres so far really. Let's see another fibre back there. Actually that has led me to another bit of ore. Always good to find you know, follow the um the loot. Just let it lead you across the map. And quite often it will lead you back in the same direction, but that's not always a bad thing. Because as we know, stuff does spawn behind you. And it takes a little while sometimes for stuff to appear in an area. So stop and, you know, chop some trees and have a look around. There's um, a fire up on the um, on the hill there. I wonder if that, let me see if I use the bow. I wonder if that fire there, no, they're rogues. Okay, you can see their, their chests from here. I was wondering if that was the fortress space. But it looks like we have a set of rogues over there. I just want to look up on these rocks, see if there's any ore. I think I've said this before that I um, I think these rocks here would make an interesting base. Right, okay. So we're kind of heading over in the direction of our uh, um, old base at the um, junction of the river oh I hear a moose yep uh, let's go this way I see that crate there I'm going to stop for the ammo crate for sure and that looks like a uh, potato plant. Now that is a bit close to the bear. We'll probably trigger the bear when we go and get this, but... Oh no, it's a strawberry. Nice. Still want to go ahead and grab that. Wish you could get strawberry seeds. I think they'd look so nice in the uh, planters. Right, we'll grab you and you. I 
really do miss this area. Such a nice area to build on. And in fact, this um, this sort of stretch around here, you know, it, it really wasn't too lousy with animals a lot of the time. And it had great visibility for approaching hunters where my current base were kind of stuck in and around the rocks and stuff and it's difficult sometimes to figure out where they're coming from. Uh, there's a bit of uh, copper. I'll stop for that and I see an ammo crate up the hill. Oh, I hear... Um, I hear bees. Do you hear them? Yeah, should we get some honey? I don't think we've done that on the, in a recording yet. Let's use this. That's going to give us uh, protection from the bees. And here is the hive. They're not going to be happy when I start hitting. Nice. Okay. That's pretty awesome. You can actually stand right in the swarm. And they do follow you for a while, which I think is a great touch. Nice. Yeah, cool. Okay, well, we know that tree there may well repopulate in the future with, um, with honey. Um, when I was doing my sort of review of the update that brought in the honey I found one tree and it was um it was there and a couple of days later that it was back again so um when you find one it's probably worth checking it a couple of days apart to see whether it uh, it returns after you've harvested it uh okay right we're here at the river I'm going to just check these rocks because they were always good for ore and uh, nostalgia. We spent so much time in this base. Uh, we've got a wolf. Doesn't look. Yeah, there's one ore. One ore here. That wolf heard us. Don't know whether he's going to come up here. I think it was only one growl. Looking quite quiet otherwise. I'm going to grab this crate up here and we'll head down to the water, I guess. Maybe go and grab a. I don't know, maybe a bit of sandstone. Or maybe we'll just run around the shore. do need sandstone that's at least uh, a good point actually thinking about it could do with some sandstone uh, especially for window repairs all right i'm gonna grab this first go back for the crate make sure the wolf's not on me there's some decent stuff today i think i've run past one more crate i can't quite remember where it was Let's just have a look up here. Another strawberry. Nice. Yeah, we don't want to get too distracted with um, stuff in the valley. Oh, there it was. Yeah, I remember now. Oh, just taking a sip of my water. I'm a bit thirsty today. Right, let's run down the river here and go and see what is available. Uh, yep, another ammo crate. Oh, that's good. Right, okay. Uh, a bit of iron, maybe? And 
and yeah let's duck into the water here we are hot actually i've still got my sweater on i need to change my clothing we are in the month of june uh, so really we should be wearing the t-shirt now must remember to change that out when we get back right first bit of sandstone happy with that let's see what else we've got down here a lovely day to do a bit of swimming in the lake we got here quite quickly i don't think i got too distracted yeah we've got a pearl here i'm gonna grab that while we see it um just below me now these aren't too deep we should be able to get that sandstone as well might just uh Pop back up to the surface before we dive down for that sandstone. There's another pearl and uh, another bit of sandstone just ahead so we'll grab both of those. Okay. I'm ignoring that uh, health crate on the beach back there. Let's grab this pearl. Put a bit of uh, sandstone there and then we'll have a look what's going on on the beach and maybe run over to Ore Rock. That might be worth it. I haven't been there for ages and so then we can kind of head back, back home from there. Better check our food and water once we're, once we're out of here. Yeah, it looks pretty quiet around here, doesn't it? Okay, let's see what we've got over in this direction. Yeah, we've got a bit of sandstone. And then I think we'll start our run home. Still got plenty of time in the day. And we might be able to pick up a, a nice lot crate as well on this run back. We're going through a, an area that should have crate around here. Look how empty the beach is. There's normally, you know, three or four bears on this beach. Or a bear and a couple of wolves and there's just nothing here because we, we haven't been in this area. Now, I think I saw a plant. Oh, there's a, a rogue over there. Okay, we're just in range. Well, I'm glad I didn't just run straight through there. Let's uh, hop up onto this rock here. There's the plant I think I was looking for. Oh yeah, they're quite close. There's their camp. I'm actually really close here. I'm kind of wondering whether to just pick one or two off. Um, what have we got on us? We've got quite a lot of nice stuff on us. It would be a shame to lose them. The thing is you, um, you hit one of them and everyone runs over. It's very difficult to get them at the right distance to not trigger them all. Yeah, there's four all together in a cluster there. Not sure it's worth the hassle. Or wasting the ammo, really. Let's have a quick look round the corner. I don't know if this is going to be too close to them. No, I think we're fine. Keep the weapon out just in case. It's a good spot for them to be. But we are trying to get to Auroch. There is a bear right there. <gasps> There's a lock crate. Right, okay. Let's grab this then. I'm 
very nice. I think we're going to have trouble here. Yeah. What what do we need to pick up? Cordage. What's that? Medicinal tonic. Yeah, we want that if we can. Um, I'll throw the feathers. I think. Here we are. We're full. We're absolutely full now. Okay, let's see what we can get from uh, Ore Rock. I'm gonna head on up on uh, this side. Yeah, there's there's a lovely amount of iron here. This was totally worth it, I think. A um, bit more here, I think I saw. And then there's another bit over on the left, a little bit close to that bear, but it should be okay. We should be able to get it without... Yeah, he's moved away a little bit anyway. Let's have a look at what we've got in here. Some stuff we can definitely throw if we find anything else good. Do we have another lockpick? We do. Just do a very quick check of the rest of the rock. Nope, nothing else there. Um, do we have any wood? We don't. Do we need some protein? We do. And we've got anything. We've got a strawberry. And another strawberry. We can make a couple of fuel bricks. And some woodage. That'll free up a little bit of room. I like the planks that we're getting and the um, the iron, the refined iron and copper is awesome. I could drop these two things if we need to and that. So um, yeah, I'm not, not too precious about all of that stuff. We've got plenty of that back at the base. I'm going to carry on collecting these fibres. But I think we're going to start making our way back towards base now. I was wondering if I could get that bit of ore there, but I think it's a little awkwardly placed. It's so nice to run around a slightly different area. You're going to throw on the floor again, aren't you? Throw that feather away. Get the apple. Uh, we don't need it yet, but I've got that for a bit of vegetable in a few moments. Let's see if we can find one more lock crate, maybe. I see the fibre there, but that wolf's coming this way. Have a look down here. This is always a great little divot here for a crate to be nestled in. And I've actually had um, two spawn next to each other in this area before. I'll grab the iron. Doesn't look like we're going to find anything today. How much have we got on us? 32 now. Yeah, we're definitely seeing an improvement in our stocks. Um, but that, that, you know, that happens after a while once you've got settled in the game. The start is always a bit of a panic. You're always um, short of something. Oh, seeds. Um, oh dear. What shall we throw away? I've got plenty of tomato seeds. Oh, um, let's make another bandage. That'll get rid of the cloth. There we are. That works. That wasn't too bad. I do hate wasting this stuff. Now, do we have room to pick up this strawberry? Because I would like to grab this. No. God damn it. Um, I'm going to eat the apple. Pick up the strawberry. I shouldn't carry quite so much stuff around with me, I guess, but I'm used to it being there. And I think if I stopped carrying it, I think I'd miss it. So um, OK, can't see anything there. Just up on the hill, I'm looking here. 
just run in front of these rocks. Here's a locked crate. Right, okay. Somehow I knew I was going to find a third one today. Or a second one. I don't know how many we've had today. I think this is just the second one, isn't it? So, there we go. That fitted perfectly. Yeah, we've got four alloy sheets and we should be able to make a few more now that we've got all of this refined iron and copper. Let's grab some crates on the way back. Ooh, um, if I eat you... Sort of going a bit like a muggy feeling, isn't it? Ooh, some arrows, that's welcome. Yeah, saves me having to craft those. Oh, we're under attack. And we're nowhere near the base. No way we can get back in time. Means we'll have some uh, repairs to do. Just going to beeline straight for the base. What I would like to see, if we can, is which hunters it looks like have come to visit. So um, if we can get a look at where they're running back. But then again, I'm seeing some iron here. I think I'm going to stop for that. That's more important. Now hopefully they are busy throwing molotovs and things at the, um, at the rocks rather than my walls, but we'll see. I see the potassium over on the left on that rock back there. I'm ignoring that for the moment. And also I want to get back so that we can um, top the fires up because I'm quite aware they weren't topped up fully when we left so they're going to need some fuel for sure. Have we got copper? Yeah we do. Okay just making sure that wasn't all going to fly off the uh, off the cliff. Let's grab this too. Oh, cougar. Oh, and a... Uh, and a rogue. Did you hear? Oh dear, okay. Right, well we'll run down the bottom here and hopefully... <laughs> I'm leaving that crate. Hopefully the cougar will take care of whatever is going on down there. I'm leaving that crate too. Now what I don't know is whether that was the hunters leaving my camp. Could be. Heading back home. And we just encountered them on the journey back. Oh, very. Um, I, do, I do hate to leave those behind. If we uh, can grab them, I do. Yeah, it's such a shame the um, the hunters came to visit when we weren't around. Would have been nice to have had a daytime battle for a change. Right, there is a crate. And we know there's a cougar. We've got a wolf now interested in us. Let's get back and see how much damage we have to the base. I think there's going to be a few uh, walls that will need repair. This wolf is quite persistent. No, he should run off now. Yep. Yep, this is the area they hit. Oh my goodness. Um, there's an arrow. Um, window is fine and yeah, window is fine. As long as the windows have survived, I don't care. That's good. Okay, level 9 chicken, level 8 chicken. Very nice. Um, drop a bit of water in. Actually, let's do a couple of refills. We'll drop the dirty water in for them. Don't have any food to give them. Didn't get any grubs or anything today. 
top those up again. Oh, cougar. Cougar really close actually. I wonder if he um, got involved with those hunters. That would have been cool if he had. Right, fire's gone out. Um, we'll drop this. Oops, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, we'll ignite that. Let me put this uh, gun away. It makes me nervous carrying a gun around the base these days. And fuel. And I knew I was going to need one of those for that. Right, let's head back downstairs where it's light. Let's put some stuff away then. So, um, I'll lay sheets is what we're working on today. I'll leave those in my inventory for now. Um, actually, let's grab the repair materials and we'll go and try and see how much damage they they did. A bit of biofuel, some tonic. Ten tonic. And we have a hundred. We have a stack of a hundred. And I've not done any fishing in this uh, playthrough. I think we may have done one, maybe one day of fishing at some point, but... Yeah, definitely the way to go, I think. Right, there's all the ore. Um, let's put the plants away. And we need that for repairs. I don't think we need um, cordage for repairs, do we? There we go. Um, extra bandages. And we're good here. Actually, got one more health kit than we needed. Uh, there's our honey. And I was after the honey for one of the recipes. Um, honey glazed pork chop and vegetables which we'll make in a moment actually we've got the uh, materials for that now let's grab the um, iron and copper let's make a few more we've got plenty of pyromass should make a, a fuel brick uh, not a fuel brick a, a lock pick but what I'm going to do I'm going to use this for this uh, mass that we've got for making some aloe sheets and it looks like I've misread the recipe and I need some more zinc but we'll make what we can yeah we've got quite a bit we can make quite a few here let's let the uh, totals catch up um, I'll make two more yep nice okay so we need to put some zinc on to refine um, Whoops, split that in half, please. Let's put that away. And we've got too much of that. Let's do glass and some zinc in the refinery. And we'll put that iron away too. Oh, and we've got some more um, sandstone. Let's take those four off there so we've got a nice and even number. Okay, that's good. Um extra copper and we've got no more aloe sheets in here that's okay those need to go upstairs and weapon parts right good yeah and i think we're finished with the uh, scrap now right let's go and do some repairs in the dark i'm afraid but they need to be done so we know but one of these things got quite badly hit round here. Nope, it's down below then. That's good, that should be a bit easier to see. Really should leave this until daytime. Oh, that one's quite badly hit, in fact. Can we reach? Uh, okay, we've got one hit there. That could be one little smack. Oh, yeah, we've got another bit of damage there. Hopefully we can reach these. Can't see anything there. One hit there. Oh, yeah, more. More here. It's amazing just how much damage they can do. I haven't got any glass on me. Um... That's not worth a hit. That is, though. I'm just looking at these totals. I can't actually see the damaged skin at all in this light, so... 
Need a flashlight for the hammer. Let's have a look around this wall. Yeah, a little bit there. That's where the cougar is then. Anything on these lower ones? Oh, one of them is about to break. Uh, that's just a bit of wood. We can afford that. Okay. Right, let's stop staring at the, the floor. That was pretty awkward to see. Gosh, I can't, I can't work out where the door is. Okay, that's good. Don't know if we've got any more damage. Let's just quickly check around here. Just quickly. I don't want to trigger that cougar, but equally, I don't fancy doing this again tomorrow. Nope, that all looks good. Right, okay. Let's get back inside where we can actually see what we're doing. Uh, it looks like we've got some tomatoes to pick. I think I will pick those, even though I can't see. Let's get a flashlight. And um, we need to replant. Um, look, we've got six tomato seeds on us. Let's make another two. Let's do a potato and a tomato. Mix it up a little bit. Good. Right. That's looking better. And we need to top up that probably. Again, let's put that weapon away before I shoot my own base. And fuel. And we're running low on fuel, so I do need to go out and do a uh, another run with the bow and go and grab some wolves or something, I think. Um, right, okay, leave the gun there. Let's grab the sheets out of here. Right, we've got 14. So once it's light, we'll get out there and do a little bit of um, upgrading. But for First of all, let's make this um, pork chop. So we need the honey. We need two honey, two potatoes and two carrots, maybe. And the pork chops. And I don't know why it needs two, but there we go. Get that cooking and we can look at the stats because I've definitely not, not used this before. Um... I won't eat anything and then we can see uh, the effect that it has. Um, let's grab the ash and I'm just going to run this upstairs. Oh, there goes the lag. Massive lag spike then. Yikes. Yeah, a lot of frames dropped there. Oh well. We'll learn to live with it. It's only for a few seconds in the gameplay. They're fine. A bit frightened to move around now. Let's see what we can see out of the windows. We've got no lockpicks, so if we see a lock crate, we're kind of stuffed. Hey, let's see how our food's doing. Always like to try out the recipes just to see the benefits that you get. God, that's slow, isn't it? Let's go and do some upgrades while we're waiting. It'll be okay for a few minutes in the um, in the cooker. Right, this is a bit risky upgrading these things around near the uh, cougar. How close he is! But let's get this done because I'd like to get this bit finished if we can. It looks better upgraded, and it's definitely. Cheaper to, to uh, repair. Once you've got a good stock of planks, of course. And we have been finding a lot of planks in lock crates recently, so it kind of helps. Nice, okay. Wait, how many have we got left? Seven. That's not enough to do much with, but... Oh, level 10 chicken. That's going to help our biofuel 
your shoe. Let's get you killed, butchered. Get the stuff in the fridge and the fuel, the biofuel rendering. Six fat, pretty good. I've got so many of these premium feathers now, it's ridiculous. Right, food is done. Let's have a look at the stats. So, honey glazed pork and vegetables. A highly nutritious and nutritious and tasty pan fried honey glazed pork chops and sauteed vegetables. So 90, 90, 90 and 10. Okay, we're going to eat that now. We're, we're not hungry enough. God damn it. Let's put it away then. We'll see if we can eat that later. Um, I'm going to have steak and eggs and we'll have one of these tomatoes. And let's go and continue upgrading. That chicken will be level 10 soon enough. So, how much are these to upgrade? Three. Let's do the, the ones above the windows, because these sit, tend to get damaged quite often. Maybe the one above the window and the door. Um, maybe that one next to it, actually. Yeah, this one, I think, is the one that keeps getting damaged. Nice, okay. Um, we've got anything else we can upgrade with this last one? No, we need two for that. Oh, well. Any of this need repair? No, it's okay. Not bad. You can't crouch and walk through a doorway now, by the way. People... Um, advising me to do that. Can't, can't do that. Haven't been able to do that for a couple of updates, actually. I don't know why it was brought in. Maybe it was a, an exploit or something. Well, there we are. So I think the, um, the upgrades to the base are looking good. We've got all of that done now. Um, relocated the door. Make it easier to get in and out. Um, I do need to put a little platform here but we'll get that done soon and uh, we've had a really good day with the um, the lock crates actually got some good loot in there um, so I think that's where I'm going to leave this episode thank you so much for joining me until next time take care and I'll see you again soon bye for now